East St. Louis, Illinois, has a history of segregation and violence. It's a city that stands in the shadow of St. Louis, Missouri, which is also a dangerous and declining city. East St. Louis, Illinois has one of the highest murder rates in the country, if not the highest, and today we are going to take you inside this abandoned building that was once an immigrant home for poor immigrants, later a homeless shelter, then abandoned, and now houses homeless seeking shelter. Join us on an epic adventure through one of the most dangerous abandoned buildings in the murder capital of the country. East St. Louis is also recognized as one of the largest ghost towns in the United States, very similar to Gary, Indiana. In front of you here is the Majestic Theater. Subscribe, and I'll take you inside that soon. So the first time we explored this building, I was a little uneducated as to what it was. We'd just seen it and went right in. And at the time, being that it sits next to train tracks, I thought it may have been some sort of train station. Obviously I didn't pass right through uh, this little chapel here at first. As we went into the upper floors of this building, I saw stickers for an old television station called KN, KNLC, I believe. And in any case, there's a reverend in St. Louis that used to operate a television station, probably still does, in two homeless shelters. Actually, more than two, but one in East St. Louis and one in downtown St. Louis. So after we filmed, I went home and did research and found out that this had started its life is a Catholic charity home for immigrants. And if you want to go do some research on that, you may be able to find out more. I did not have luck finding that same information again. And then, later on in this building's life, um, the Reverend Larry Rice took this over and operated it as a homeless shelter and a church. And potentially, they may have operated their television station out of this building, although I believe that was down in downtown. As you can see from the aerial footage, the upper floors of this building are pretty well worn and kind of tricky and dangerous. Now, coming up shortly, you'll see why we only explored part of the upper floors and then went to the basement. Now as I often do, I found a piece of paper here 
for some sort of social services, medical support uh, that homeless people carry with them and leave in buildings. If you travel around East St. Louis and really keep your eyes out and you're driving around like me and Andrew do, you'll notice that there are quite a few homeless people living in buildings in East St. Louis. In fact, when we were out filming this, we even noticed people sleeping outside of buildings under overhangs. And it was quite a cold day. It was actually supposed to snow two to three inches. The Metrolink station is right near this downtown area and that may play into some of the reason why there are so many homeless here because they can shuttle back and forth between East St. Louis and St. Louis. Now as I entered this doorway I saw this mattress with a blanket and then I shortly realized that there were two people sleeping on that bed. I decided to turn around and not disturb them. The only way to the other upper levels with stairs that aren't completely gone are to pass through that room and by the people that were sleeping and go to the upper floor. I cut the audio from this clip because it was so windy that the audio was just terrible, but me and Andrew were discussing at which point he realized that I was trying to tell him somebody was sleeping in that room. I tried to point ahead to him twice because he was kind of wandering forward with his camera, and I think he was more focused on the footage that he was taking and didn't realize what he was about to walk up onto. But I did get his attention, and we circled around the back of the building. When did you realize what I was trying to tell you about that? After the second time, he let me know. How, did, how close did you get? Uh, I zoomed in, 35 millimeters. We'll be kind of quiet down here. What's wrong? Oh, we're coming in here? Ow! Oh! Oh, that sucks. Because I'm feeling generous today, I decided to give you part two right now right after these photographs stay tuned but we did what any smart explorers would do and we went around and circled and went back into the building if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel I think you'll enjoy it hit the like button please share and go over to old and fat exploration and subscribe I also leave links to Patreon on my channel in case you'd like to help support us on our upcoming projects. Now go ahead and leave some comments and if anybody has any idea what these troughs are in the basement that I'll start showing, please let me know. I've never completely been able to figure out what the trenches are in this basement.
If you've made it to the end of this video and you enjoy our content, please like, subscribe, share, go over to Old and Fat Exploration and subscribe there too. Also, you can find me on Patreon, Tattoo Tony Alt. Excuse me, Tattoo Tony Alden. And I appreciate any support you can give me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.